A brutal attack in the middle of the South by Southwest Music Festival, unsolved until DNA led police to the attacker. James Robert Montoya of Buda was already in jail for a traffic accident when police booked him on felony kidnapping and sexual assault charges. They say he followed a woman, raped her, kidnapped her, and then raped her again. This incident began around 1.30 in the morning on East 7th Street near Red River. It eventually ended in Buda. KXAN's Jacqueline Iglesias joins us live from where it all started. Jackie. Good evening, Leslie. Police tell us that woman was walking here just a quarter mile away from APD headquarters when she was attacked, taken to a secluded area, and then raped. It happened in the early morning hours of Friday, March 16th, and during that time, South by Southwest was going on, so all of the bars and music venues in this area were filled with hundreds of people. There are also halo cameras in the area, but this crime was not caught on tape, and it would and five hours later in Buda. In the early morning of March 16th, this Buda home rented by James Montoya became a prison for a woman police say Montoya kidnapped and raped. It's crazy. I never would have expected anything around here. That's why we moved out to Buda is to get out of the city. The ordeal started here in Austin, a busy area with South by Southwest underway. Walking, the woman had left a bar around 1.30 in the morning and somehow became separated from her friends. Police say Montoya spotted her, followed her, and repeatedly asked if she needed a ride. She kept refusing. Our detectives looked at halo cameras. They also looked at some uh, other businesses. They had cameras and they were able to get footage of her walking but that was prior to her contact with him. An arrest warrant shows Montoya jumped out of his truck, strangled, and then raped the woman. It says he then told her to get into his truck. Fearing for her life, she did. 30 minutes later, she told officers she ended up here at Montoya's house on Tobin Lane. That's where she told police Montoya forced her into the master bedroom and raped her again. We tried talking to a woman inside, but she wanted no part. Okay, no comment, thanks. Police tell KXAN News the woman Montoya assaulted waited until he fell asleep to escape. She ran to this child care facility a block away and police were called. A worker here says the woman was closed with handprints around her neck. DNA would later be recovered. DNA that matched Montoya's. Detectives went on to tell us that Montoya admitted to having contact with the woman, but denied sexually assaulting her. As for that rental home, neighbors tell us Montoya moved in there along with his wife and two small children about three months ago. But tonight, Leslie, Montoya is far away from that home and behind bars in the Travis County Jail. His bond is set at $250,000. Live in downtown Austin, Jacqueline Inglace, KXAN News. And